Dear Jello friends, welcome to the second film of our new series, Play with Piano. Again, I picked two pieces from the volume Wagon Wheels by Catherine and Hugh College. And again, we will show you the cello part, but I suggest that you buy the music as well. It is absolutely worth owning it. This time I picked Windscream Wipers and Lollipop Man. Let's not waste time anymore and have a look at the cello part of Windscreen Wipers. Windscreen Wipers is in G major and written in 4-4. We know the picture already from the two other pieces of Play with Piano 1. The rhythm is easy, we have quarter notes and half notes only. The new thing about windscreen wipers is the tied notes. And I'll show you how that works. Windscreen wipers is in G major. The G major scale has all the notes you need to play this piece. So maybe you play a G major scale for practicing it. Start on open string. Use one, three, four, and then the same thing on the D string. Very easy. Now, the new thing about windscreen wipers are the tight notes. Two notes in one bow. So you play, and the next note is on the same down bow. second note. Play the first one and then let the bow just go. The string is in motion already and you don't need to get it started. So don't squeeze on the second note. Then practice it slowly until you can play it through without mistake and stopping and then slowly but truly speed it up to our tempo. If you saw the first play with piano, you know the procedure already. I'll play the whole piece for you again. You can listen to it or join me and then we give you the piano accompaniment alone just for your practice. First, of course, I give you an A. piano has four bars, four bars before us, second, now third, one, two, three, four, fourth, now entrance.
this is Lollipop Man. It is a lot more complicated than the pieces before. So let's have a closer look at the cello part. You see Lollipop Man has two sharps. It is in D major. That's easy. I'll show you later. Written in 4-4, four, four, four beats in a bar. We know that already. But now we don't have just quarters, half notes and whole notes, but also eighth notes. Twice as fast as quarter notes. And we have tight notes, this time even three in a bow. And we have repeated notes four times. Finally, the structure of the piece. If you have seen Play with Piano 1, you know that already. We have to play the piece through once. Then you see Da Capo Al Fine at the end. Then you have to start from the beginning again and play until you reach the bar where you see Fine. There the piece ends eventually. For Lollipop Man, as I said, we need D major. It is as easy as G major. You start on the open string and then you play one, three, four. Continue on the A string as well with one, three, four. you need for this lollipop man. Now we have those repeated notes. So I suggest to practice before you try the piece to practice the scale with four repeated notes and then a single note. I demonstrate it. Now four again. used to that first figure of the piece, this one. I have another etude exercise for you. Again the scale, but now you play the scale like this. prepared. Now you practice the piece slowly, slowly, slowly until, I repeat myself, you can play it through without mistakes and without stopping. And then join me or listen and finally try alone with piano. This time the piano has two bars. Second This is my lollipop man. It is more complicated than the pieces before, I know. But I'm sure 
if you practice it well, slowly, 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 of course, and then try a couple of times with piano, you will manage to play it through. Congratulations in advance. See you soon again. Take care and so long.